Lee Daniels, the butler, is based on, in, on inspired by a butler, Eugene Allen, and Will Hay Goods, Washington Post, a, bed, a butler will serve by this election. In the plot of the butler, we follow a man named Cecil Gaines. Mm -hmm. As a young man, he witnesses his father being killed, and his mother is uh, assaulted by the plantation owner. So after he learns from the mother of the plantation owner to how to serve as a butler, he decides to leave the South as a young man, and he finds employment at a light hotel in Washington, D.C. And then Cecil Gaines gets the opportunity of a lifetime when he is hired as a butler at the White House. And over the course of three decades, Cecil has a front row seat to history and the inner workings of the Oval Office. However, his commitment to his first family leads to tension at home, alienating his wife, Gloria, played by Oprah Winfrey, and causing conflict with his anti-establishment son, Lewis, who they have an ongoing rivalry throughout this movie. And the butler, I saw this back in 16, 2016, during my junior year of high school, and from the marketing, when they were first coming out with this movie, I always, I really wanted to see this movie, because of the idea, you got, based on a true events about a man who served multiple decades for butlers, and from the cast alone, it sounded really great. The butler is... It's, it's a really, it's a darn good movie. This is a phenomenally made film. This was the last movie for producer Laura Ziskin that she produced as she would die, tragically, back in 2011. And they do pay loving memory to her, and I do like that. The historical accuracy, some of it is a little is a little questionable. Mainly the portrayal of President Ronald Reagan, played by Alan Rickman. And Alan Rickman is fan not fantastic in as Alan Rickman. I thought he was a great choice to play Ronald Reagan. Now, the director and screenwriter, they have been criticized for it as indifferent to civil rights. And I will say that it is isn't accurate to Ron President Ronald Reagan, but it is, it is, when you are making a movie like this, you are going to have to make some changes, and I can see why some people, including the son of the former president, was mad, upset. And the whole story of the actual butler that this movie is based off of, they did change it around. He was born in a plantation, but not in Georgia. In the movie, Cecil Gaines grows up in the cotton field in Georgia. And then there is tension between father and son over civil rights issues. But other than that, I thought the narrative flew very well. Two hours and 13 minutes, it is it's not boring. It is fast paced. The editor and the director worked, must have worked very well to make sure this was very well paced. And I guess it is very well paced. And it is well, it is well paced. I can't deny. It is really well done. And I will say that Lee Daniels' direction and the cinematography work is really well done. The color palettes, everything is well done. And the production design is amazing as well. And the action acting in this movie. I'll get to the acting, but the soundtrack choices are really well done. It fits the tone of this movie as well as the musical score. 
but what I really like is them showing the decades of of Cecil, meaning all the presidents: John F. F. Kennedy, Dwight Eisenhower, played by the late Robert Williams, rest in peace; Ronald Reagan, also rest in peace, Alan Rickman. You also have you have all these presidents he's serving for, and I really like that. And you get all the times in the history that's going on. So every single thing that goes on in this movie is very well done. I will say, the performances wise is phenomenal. Forrest Whit this movie was robbed of some Oscars for its acting and because Forrest Whitaker is a great actor. I love Forrest Whitaker but he is amazing here as Cecil Gaines. Oprah Winfrey is great as Gloria. David Oyelowo as the elder son. He and Forrest Whitaker does a really great job of bringing that the two differences on civil rights. While he believe, while Cecil believes that it's best to do what is told, Luke Cecil is, just, you know. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of things that is going on. Um, David or Elijah Kelly, he's in here for a little bit, but you, but there's something that happens to his character. Alex Pettifer, Mariah Carey, David Banner, Terrence Howard, Adrian Lennox, Yaya DaCosta, who is gorgeous, by the way. Vanessa Redgrave, Clarence Williams III, Cuba Gooding Jr., Lenny Kravitz, Robin Williams as Dwight Eisenhower, Alan Rickman, Robert Obden as Harry Minka Kelly, James Marston playing a husband and wife couple, John F. Kennedy and Jackie Kennedy, Lee Schreiber, John Cusack, so many great talent in this movie and not uh, even Jane Fonda, all the great, so much great talent, and the talent is there. Again, just a few accuracies, and the film does slow down just a tiny bit in the 56 minute mark. But all in all, this is a Weinstein production I'm reviewing, of course, so when you do watch this on TV, that logo is no longer. Uh, shown when it premieres so overall Lee Daniels the Butler this is a great film one of 2013's most underrated this is a one of my favorites films of all time and I'm very happy I got to watch this in my last two years of high school I'm really glad how this movie turned out and this is coming from the director of Precious. Give yourself some credit, Lee Daniels. And also, you created a great TV series with Star. That should have never been canceled. I will be reviewing Star as well this year. Going into my TV reviews. So, with that being said, Lee Daniels the Butler gets in a Better Than Vampire Diaries. I love this movie. If you ain't seen The Butler, do it. It's really good. Let me know what you guys think of this film down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Be sure to follow me on my social media links in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys later. You guys keep cool and join the epitaph.